Hello everyone, today's lesson is to plot longitudinal data. We will learn two different approaches. One is to draw individual trajectory with mat plot, the other is the group trajectory on average, using interaction plot. As always, we set working directory first. In this directory, I have already prepared two different types of data, wide format, or long format. Let's bring them to our studio. You may check another video for details about reshape between two formats down below. Let's start with the mat plot. Use of this command requires a wide format data. Let's look at the data example to see what it looks like. In this data, you can see the repeated measurements over time are displayed in columns to a wide direction of each individual. Before we plot, let's prepare time points for x-axis. Say x is a vector of 8, 10, 12 and 14. Then, make a group label, which is useful to understand the differentiated response by some groups. I made it as factor for a reason. Notice male is the first entry, but female is the first level of this factor based on alphabetical order, so which comes first? It's the factor level. Knowing the order of the factor level is important for the rest of coding. For instance, you may want to change the label to be 3 for male and 99 for female. Now we relabeled, replacing the existing group label. See what it prints. 3 for male and 99 for female. Observe that I used 99 first because it will match to the first level of factor, which is the female, and the second level of factor, which is matching to the male, regardless of order of data entry. Now, let's graph using matplot. This is simply an extension of plot x, y, which is used for a scatter plot. Here are the differences. Matplot does a job on multiple y's. X is the time points. What is Y then? Let's go back to the data. What I am going to do, select the response variables by picking the columns 3, 4, 5 and 6, which is a matrix, transpose and flip. See how it looks like. First set of x and y is this. Second set is that, and so forth. Basically, we plot columns sequentially. Each column represents each subject. Well, the plot at default is a bit mess. Let's upgrade. For example, type equals B, meaning both points in line. There are more options, such as plot character. PCH equals to 1 and 2, which will be assigned to female and male respectively. Similarly, color, black and red. Line style is solid and dots. Let's clean up more with xlab, ylab, xlimit, etc. Some helpful tips regarding graphical parameters can be found in help pages. Also, having legend would be great. Make sure we use the same plotting characters used above. Awesome. You can see now the X lab, Y lab are updated. X limit allowed some marginal space. 
female and males are plotted with different point characters, colors, and line styles. Often, it is more useful to depict the group trajectory rather than the individuals. We will use interaction.plot, which requires a long format. Let's look at the data. Observe the repeated measurements for one unique subject are displayed in multiple lines. It's always helpful to look into data at a fixed time point. Let's sort by age. What we are interested in, how the average of boys, 22.875, will it be changed at the age of 10? Further, is it different from the girls' trend? Let's find out. By attaching the data first, use interaction.plot, where x-axis is the time variable, age, y-axis is the response, which is placed in the third argument. Importantly, in the middle, we put the trace factor, whose mean values form the trajectory over time. In our data, it should be group. See what it looks like. Of course, we can improve the quality of graph using the same graphical parameters that we used to use. Point character is circle and triangle. Color is black and red. Line style is different as well. N, line width is three times thicker. I prefer separating legend by setting legend is false. Fixed equals true. Finally, let's add my own legend. See what happens. This simpler depiction may be more informative sometimes. Would you like to actually calculate the group means? Watch this code.